I think I've made it to the messy middle. If you're in the messy middle too, you might wanna stick around for this one. So what messy middle am I talking about? I'm talking about the messy middle of midlife and menopause. If you're a guy, you don't have to stick around for this, but I suggest that maybe you do because it might help you to understand more deeply and on a different level the women who are important to you in your life. That said, what is the messy middle for me? The messy middle is literally a messy middle, <laughs> for one. The middle part of my body um, taking on weight without my consent. That's the messy middle. The messy middle is feeling more exhausted for doing the same amount of work that I've done in the past at this age. The messy middle is messiness in my home due to the exhaustion. My home isn't as organized and neat and kept up as I would like it to be. The messy middle shows up at work where I've worked for 26 years and I have enjoyed my job mostly, but right now I'm just kind of sick and tired of it and feeling angry and disgruntled. The messy middle is watching changes in my face, watching my hair go gray, watching the people around me get older. The messy middle is coming to a place in my life where I am thinking more deeply about the next 50 years and understanding that although the next 50 years will be a time of great emotional and mental growth, the next 50 years is also the last 50 years. It's a total shift in perspective. This middle is very messy and it's a lot to work on and it's a lot to get myself through. So how am I planning on getting through this messy middle? Well, I don't really know, to be honest with you. I don't know exactly what I'm supposed to do. I know that I need to do things differently than I've done up until now because I'm li living in a totally different body. Well, let me be more clear. I'm living in a body that's working totally differently than it had before. I am generally in good health, but I don't understand my body. I don't understand yet what it needs. I am learning how to fuel it properly now that I am in my mid-50s. I'm learning that I need more rest and rest of a different quality. I know that I need less activity, less busyness, um, but I haven't yet figured out the, the, the way. I haven't figured out the amount I don't know how much less. I know I need to figure out which relationships in my life are the ones that I really want to um, that I really want to grow and encourage because I don't feel like I need to be everything and do everything anymore. This middle age life area, <laughs> this time of middle age is it's messy because so much has changed and there's still so much time left. And there isn't a guidebook. There are a ton of self-help books and there are a ton of self-help gurus. And there are a ton of people like me who are going through this and trying to share our stories to help others understand. But there are still no exact answers. Well, and there aren't because we're all individuals, so what works for you isn't going to be the thing that's going to work for me. And since there's no guidebook that comes with us when we're born, and we're not given a guidebook when we graduate from high school, and we're not given a guidebook when we enter into our midlife, we're just given our own body and our own mind to figure it out, that's what I've been doing. That's what I'm working on. And so in my next few videos, I think I'm going to be talking about um, what I'm doing for me to help me get through this messy midlife middle. I have some thoughts on how I'm going to take care of myself nutritionally. I have some thoughts on how I'm going to take care of my mental health and some thoughts on how I can take care of my emotional well-being, as well as how I see my life 
going forward and what I imagine for myself. So if you're not too far from the messy middle or if you are right in the messy middle and any of that sounds of interest to you, I'd love to hear from you. Please let me know down there in those comments um, if what your thoughts about this messy midlife time is and um, what you might be struggling with. And we can build some community around that and have a discussion. If you're a guy and you're watching this video, um, like I said, it might be helpful to you for those of those people in your life who um, might experience a messy middle as well. And if you have questions for me about what I'm doing, you too can leave those in the comments. Or you might be an older gentleman who has already gotten through that period of life with your loved one or loved ones, and maybe you have some advice um, of things that you saw work for your loved ones who are in this messy, icky, struggling time. I say that through laughter because it sounds so silly, but it, it really is a truth. So um, that's all I have to say. And um, I'll see you again next time. Thanks for being here.